ギリギリのスピードで世界は終わってくんだ今僕だけにできることを探しに行こう雨上がりのバス停Welcome to Let's Play Mega Dimension Neptunia V2R. My name is Karsten. This is not quite as blind as my normal Let's Plays. I did play some of the Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 not R, uh, but it's been a while and I didn't get all that far into it. I mean, several hours, but、um, I got to where like everyone split up and didn't get to where everyone got back together again. And... But anyway, that was、uh, a while ago, and I'm sure they've changed some things. I do not have a VR headset, so we'll be watching things normally. I did do a little bit of just the very beginning of the intro to check out settings and things, and it looks like. It goes into like a VR thing, and I can look around with the、uh, the controller and stuff.、Uh, let's check here. I do want to have voice volume turned up,、uh, maybe a little bit more. We want to be able to hear what they're saying.、Um, not sure what standard versus character means. Normal and inverter, what I would expect,、uh, but we'll try this as is, and、uh, let's go ahead and start a new game. Oh, can I have all the the free DLC? By another world, there are many worlds. There's many worlds as there are games, as many parallel worlds as there are players. Yo, we meet again. Oh, right. I guess this is more of a nice to meet you, huh? Either way, glad to see you're taking an interest in this dimension again. The history you create is always fascinating. Take a look. These are the records of the very dimension you saved in the past.、Hmm? Have you already forgotten? Well, I guess I can't blame you. It has been a while. Well, don't sweat it. I've already recorded that history. You'll remember soon enough. Huh? Looks like Eastwar is calling ya. All right, it's time I head out. Later. Uh, player. Player, player. I'm down here. Please look down here. Goodness, you weren't listening to a single word, were you? 
I will explain it once more, so you better listen carefully this time. This world has been created from parts of your world and our own, weaving together. According to Krar, this sort of world is called the VR dimension. However, it seems there is still much she does not understand, as she was unable to explain anything further. This room is influenced by both of our worlds, but it seems the effects of your world are much stronger. And... For that reason, we have decided to simply refer to it as the player's room. This room may be accessed using a gate, but the VR dimension's coordinates are unstable. I'll be coming by periodically to adjust them. Still, it is almost like a dream that we are able to interact with a player like this. We have been made aware of your existence long ago but we could not find a way to speak with you directly. That is why, until recently, we've only communicated with you through the thank you for playing corner. Were you aware? I apologize. I have veered off topic. I will now explain the various commands that can be executed within the player room. First, about this object which I received from Krar. It is the historical record of your past guidance, and I have prepared it as a game. Please, play it if you desire. Additionally, the goddesses of the four nations will come to visit this player room eventually. Although, they will not unexpectedly visit you. You will be able to welcome them in at a more convenient time using this object. It seems Neptune and the others have things they wish to discuss with you, and I would be quite pleased if you could meet with them. This concludes my explanation of the player room. Did you understand it? I am glad. If you ever need a more detailed explanation, do not hesitate to let me know. Things may become more noisy on occasion, but I hope we can get along from now on. Okay, the player room is where you can play the game via gameplay. By obtaining room objects, you can redecorate the room as well. Any experiences you have during the game will also be saved as memories. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess it's just a one page. Big menu. Okay. Probably nothing there yet. Oh, there is. Okay. Well, let's let's uh, go ahead and start talking with them, I guess. probably filled it in. Well, I guess you might already know, but my name's Neptune. It's nice to meet ya. Ah, you've met my bigger self, right? I guess that means from your perspective that I'm the smaller Neptune, doesn't it? That's not what I meant. Eyes on your own paper, buddy. So, um, my name gets pretty tricky for people in our dimension to say, so you can call me whatever you want. Anyway. Ah! That's a really cool game console! The games are... Mmm... Ooh! Wowie! You've got all kinds of genres, too! You've got some really great stuff here. Your manga collection is so interesting, too. What a cool room. 
I've been to lots of different worlds, but I don't recognize any of the manga or games you have in here. I know. I'll just tell Isti I'm going to study the outside world to expand my horizons. Is it okay if I visit you again? Hmm. Should I take your silence as a no? <laughs> I'm gonna come play, even if you say no. Whoops! <laughs> you know, there's more to this than me just having fun with you. I actually wanted to thank you for saving me, too. Ah, just when I was getting used to you, we ran out of time. We'll continue this chit-chat later. Thanks for letting me visit. I'll be back soon, so <laughs> see ya. Well, I was trying to nod yes, but I guess it didn't count. We have new room objects. Sure, we'll have the purple sofa. I guess that's the only thing we can do right now. Let's go ahead and go through the rest of them for the moment. actually met. My name's Noir, the goddess of last station. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry to drop in like this. I've been wanting to meet you, so I thought I'd just come over. Am I bothering you? That's great! I was worried you might be a little too busy for me. This room looks pretty nice, but... I think it could use a personal touch. I'd like to organize it a little bit. Hey! Uh, if it's okay with you, could I clean up around here when I come and visit? That's great news! <laughs> Just leave it to me! But don't leave everything in a big mess just because you'll know I'll clean it up, okay? I'll have to tell the others that, too. Especially Neptune. Anyway, I usually spend a lot of time hanging out at my friends' houses. They like to leave their games and manga lying around, and I always end up helping them clean up their stuff. And it's not like I'm a bossy lady or some kind of clean freak, you know. I just don't really like messy rooms. I have lots of friends, so it's difficult to keep up with them all. Uh, uh, was that a little too much? I know that you're able to interact with other dimensions, so you probably know a little bit about me, don't you? You know... It is true that I visit my friends like Neptune pretty regularly. But also, I think it's difficult to label these relationships so one-sidedly. We're all goddesses and we're friends, but we're rivals too. And, well, it's not like we don't get along. In fact, it seems like we've actually been getting close lately. I... Uh, I... I feel like I keep talking about weird things. Um, I'm realizing this is the first time I've been in the room of someone who isn't one of the goddesses. It's probably just making me nervous. Huh? W what's up? Why are you staring? It's just gonna make me feel worse. 
Hey, can we turn on the AC or something? Uh, anyway, there's a lot of stuff I want us to talk about next time. I decided I'm gonna come over a little more often, so you better be ready. Uh, I mean, if that's all right with you, of course. I'd be really happy if you let me visit again. But for now, I'm just glad I got to finally meet you. That said, I'm gonna get going. Eastwar told us to be careful since maintaining the gate coordinates can be tricky. See you around! Alright. May as well go through the... all the intros of these and before I start the actual game, see it. See what they all have to say. My name is Blan. I'm the goddess of Louis. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. I said that out of habit. You're the player, so you already know about me, don't you? Histoire gave me a brief explanation earlier. Anyway. What? Why... Why are you staring at my face? It's just a little... embarrassing. By the way, I thought I saw a bookshelf in here. Ah, oh, there it is. What a relief. I'm glad you have one. I wasn't sure if that's what it was when I came through the gate. See, I... I really love books. I'm interested in all kinds of genres. However... Lately, for reasons, I've been reading a light novel. Player, do you like reading books? Really? You mean it? That's great! I'd like it if we could recommend some books to each other. It's a lot of fun learning about what hobbies other people are into. I love how words can unlock my imagination. It's great how reading does that so easily. It's a little easier for me to read because I like doing that. Some people don't have as much fun, though. They find it tiring. Light novels are easier for people like that. There isn't a lot of exposition to wade through, and since it's mostly dialogue, it's fairly easy to read. A lot of them are illustrated, too. They're the perfect novels for beginners. Wouldn't you agree? I knew you would, player. I'm happy you can understand the light novel's appeal. My passionate rambling was worth it. You know, my favorite author has an interesting story. What's crazy is that person never intended to become an author. She was journaling all of her adventures. That's all she intended to do, but her writing skills improved with every entry. When her adventure diary was finally published, it made the bestseller list rather quickly. Other writers who began with journals or light novels usually evolve and write more literary works, bringing their secret worlds to life. The methods of expression among writers are as endless as the methods to interpret their writing. It's in the discussions and analysis that this theory is... Oh, 
the two of us just met. But here I am, talking your ears off about my little hobby. Uh, I'm sorry. I I'm gonna go now. I just came here to say hello, but I got carried away. I'm honestly surprised. I'm not very good at conversation, and I hardly ever do this sort of thing. But I've been wanting to meet you. I just had a lot I wanted to talk to you about. Oh no, I'm gonna start rambling again. This was nice. I'm going to come back and visit. Is that okay? Well, thanks for listening today. See you. Well, she was a lot nicer than I expected. But then again, I guess it's her uh, HDD form that tends to be kind of angry. <laughs> All right, and let's see what she has to say. Oh, hello there. My name is Vert, and I am the goddess of Leanbox. Hmm, I have introduced myself, but I believe that you already know who I am. Is that correct? Hmm, so it is true that you possess the power of interdimensional interaction. <laughs> I suppose I am not surprised. Upon seeing your face, I have felt that this is not the first time that we have met. I must admit, this feels strange. Looking at you, you do not seem so different from the rest of us. What a surprise! You appear to be much friendlier than I imagined. Oh, please forgive me. I have yet to explain information that is pertinent to our current situation. Eastwar had informed me somewhat of your identity and the special role you have here. I was told that your existence is abnormal and that you hold the unique power to interact with alternate dimensions. However, now that we have actually made contact, I have to say I had quite a different image of you in my head. I am surprised. And relieved. Hmm. You have such lovely consoles. This is the perfect environment for anyone to indulge in the wonderful world of gaming. Oh, I apologize. Instincts were kicking in, as it were. It is occasionally embarrassing, but it is truly work-related. Whenever I visit someone's room, I habitually peruse their gaming setup. Um, I understand that this was my first time meeting you, but was it rude of me to look through your personal game collection? I am glad that is the case. <laughs> this is a very lovely room. Let us collaborate in order to create the ultimate gaming room. Oh, is it time already? I did happen to drop in suddenly. I suppose I should be leaving now. Otherwise, I might just overstay my welcome. Okay, then. I will be taking my leave now, player. I must say, today was a wonderful first meeting. I do hope we will interact much more from now on. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Here 
Here, let's make everything purple. Um... Okay, so these are just the... the various... various things. I guess we can replay these. Does it let me replay... Hmm. I have to look at that later. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, at least play to the first save point. I want to try to limit the episode times here. I know in my at last uh, at Lear Lydian Soul they tended to end up being like hour long episodes. I want to try to limit it to a little bit closer to half an hour episodes here. But let's see if we can at least play to the first save point. Okay, uh, I need to adjust the movie volume. That was way too quiet. Bring that up a little bit, and let's turn the sound effects up a little bit. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start here. I don't know that this technically counts as a save point yet because I still haven't actually hit save. So we'll go new game here. Game industry. A world which exists outside of our reality where four CPUs protect and rule above each nation. The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules, Planetoon. The nation where CPU Black Heart rules, Last Station. The nation where CPU White Heart rules, Loewe. The nation where CPU Green Heart rules, Leanbox. In the past, game industry had been exposed to threats such as the Deity of Sin and the CPU of the ancient nation of Tari. But thanks to the efforts of the four CPUs, a lasting era of peace has been maintained. However, as they enter the CPU shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. say that sounded like something plastic slamming against the concrete. Let's see. It was... Although, I kind of feel like I just had a super creepy dream. Okay. How does the... Oh. I was looking to see if there was some auto advance from voice, but I guess not. Oh well. Hmm. I think it came 
from over there. Maybe I should go take a look. And so, here we find our heroine in a spooky back alley, shrouded in darkness in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. Someone, save me! Huh? Is that a voice? Someone, anyone, save me! Save the Zero Dimension! Hello? Someone there? Come on, answer me! That's so weird. I could have sworn I heard it coming from around here. Hmm? Wait, what's this on the ground? It almost looks like... a game console? But who even makes this? It's got a white body, a swirl mark. Even a sophisticated game sommelier like myself has never seen anything like this. Well, I don't see anyone around here, so I guess I'll just take a... I mean, deposit this at the Basilicom for safekeeping. Yeah. Hey, Nepgear! Looky look! I found a super cool vintage game console! Oh, really? Maybe we can try playing it later. Also, welcome home, Neptune. I'm glad you made it back safe and sound. This kid is Nepgear. She may seem older, but don't be fooled. She's my little sister. The CPU candidate of the nation, Planetune. Neptune! Where in game industry have you been? This is not the time to be goofing off. I will not forgive you today. Ah! It's Isti! This small fairy-looking girl is Istoire. Or Isti, as I like to call her. Planetune's first CPU created her in order to keep a record of the nation's history and, right now, she acts as Planetune's oracle. She's cute till she opens her mouth and turns into a little dictator. It's a character flaw that I'm gonna talk to the writers about soon because... Yeah. Neptune, listen to me. We're in the midst of Game Industries' shift period, and this is simply not the time for brash behavior. Ah, uh, come on, Isti, lighten up! It's just a little old shift period. Wait, what is that again? Even though I had explained it so thoroughly, I will explain it once again. So please, listen. The CPU shift period is the season when citizens begin searching for new CPUs to follow, instead of placing their faith in those already presiding. We're currently in the window of time when rumors about the CPUs will begin circulating, tarnishing their reputations. In fact, at this very moment, the other CPUs have been working relentlessly to prepare specialized teams to counter any allegations. I'm totally fine. This is Planetune we're talking about, Isti. My people love me. Besides, isn't Noir the only one who's made an actual team? Vert has that MMO tourney, and Blonde has Rookie Novelist Awards coming up soon. Dear me. Why is it that all the CPUs lack a mature and appropriate sense of danger? Hey! Don't just let me in with those lazy idiots, Isuar! Oh, by the way, this girl is Noir, the CPU of Last Station, the nation next door. She's a friendless, lonely soul. Aren't you, Noir? You shut up! I'm not lonely! That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, Neptunior, think you can fix this console? It looks like it's pretty broken. I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't look like technology I'm familiar with. May I inspect it for a moment, Big Sis? <sighs> it cannot be helped. It appears I will be constructing a solution on my own for Planetune's safety yet again. Neptune, did you hear that? Oh, 
I knew I heard something earlier. Good work, Neptunior. Where's it coming from? This is gonna sound weird, but I think the voice came from inside this console. Oh! Yipes! What in the what is this? Why are we getting swallowed up in our own room? Oh no! What should we do? I can't move! Neptune! We're, We're getting, getting sucked in! in. find out we're slacking off to fix that console? Has she finally morphed into a bloodthirsty demon? Huh? Oh, right, right, right. This is just a dream. Okay, well then. Night, Nepgear. Turn the lights off on your way out, okay? Oh, it's not a dream, Neptune. Get up! No, 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 this can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our room, right? Why would we suddenly be in a place like this? I don't know. When I came to, we were just... here. What happened? Well, I don't really know where this is, but I don't think it can be helped. The city's collapsed, there are weird cracks in the sky, but, you know, this is totally a normal occurrence in games. Um, Neptune, even if it happens often in games, this should not be happening here, in reality. Yeah, yeah, but let's not sweat the small stuff, all right? Hey, there might be some NPCs out and about. Let's go for a walk. I'm sure that'll be ten times better than moping around in a place like this. Yeah, you're right. It's better than just waiting around for an event to appear. That's the spirit! Let's go! All right, dungeons are dangerous areas where enemies roam. Control your character, aim for your destination. Bring your weapon, jump. And if you move while holding L1, you can move while dashing. In the main menu, etc., etc. Check map and quests. Okay. So can we, uh... We can't save yet.
Okay, yeah, formation, etc. So I got that DLC stuff. Does is, do I have anything that's uh, like stupid and powerful like usually happens with the DLC stuff? Sure. Interesting. Okay, now that. Now they have different attack formations. That one's interesting. Hmm. Let's just stick with the not stupidly overpowered stuff, at least for right now. We'll worry about, uh, we'll see about changing that if things get annoyingly difficult. Um, tell you what though, I'll go ahead and end the episode here even though we haven't technically hit a save point, and uh, I'll see you next time. I hope you're enjoying. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, Neptune. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>